All right, welcome everyone. Um, hello and welcome to our next EDW session called How Automated Data Lineage Accelerates BI Performance Inside Information from Our Customers. Uh, we have uh, David Bitten here. He's the VP of Sales of Octopi. I uh, just wanted to let everybody know all audience members are muted during these sessions, so please submit your questions in the Q&A window on the right side of the screen, and our speaker will respond to as many questions as possible at the end of the talk. So let's begin our presentation now. Thank you and welcome, David Bitten. Thank you, John, for that uh, great introduction. Wow, what can I say? I'm both privileged and excited to be here today to also be able to present Octavi to you all. As many of you may know, uh, we've been attending ADW for many years in person. This year, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we've been forced to attend uh, virtually. Let's hope that uh, this will all be over and behind us by next year this time, and uh, and uh, we'll be able to do this in person. So since, uh, as they mentioned, there's a large audience, uh, there are questions, uh, please forward them to us, and I will try and address them at the very end of the presentation. So without further ado, I'll jump straight in. And a little bit about the company. So Octopi was started a number of years ago by our founders, and they came from actually came from the BI landscape. So they were actually living and breathing the challenges that BI people are are are, are breathing and living and and, and dealing with on a day to day basis. They were actually leading different groups in different industries. So they had experience in insurance, telecom, healthcare, and others, where they faced a lot of the same challenges that most of our customers are are facing. So to give you an, an idea, the types of challenges they were facing, they were getting complaints from their business users about data reliability, for example. And the reason for that was because oftentimes they would uh, obtain reports or receive reports, and those reports would oftentimes uh, be inaccurate or corrupt or missing data, have missing data or the wrong data. And uh, so it caused them to lose uh, confidence in the data that they were using. And so other issues were related to whenever they would touch something, whenever they would uh, create a new business process, edit an existing ETL, change a table or a view, it would somehow impact other uh, other things down the line, such as reports and so on. And then there were other issues, just trying to get a handle on where their data was. In order to do that, they needed to dive in and discover the metadata that resided in all of the different systems that they were managing and using in order to move and manage their data. Now, unfortunately, all of this work was being done manually by them. And so uh, this is a, uh, these are the same types of challenges most of the customers uh, that we deal with, that most organizations are facing with. And so the entire data movement or data lineage process was very challenging for them. And that was the catalyst that led them on a quest to look for a solution for their teams, to help their teams uh, become more efficient, to automate all of the manual work that they were delving in and dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And that would provide a system that would, prov they were looking for a system that would provide them with simple analysis. They were looking for a solution that was simple and easy to use, meaning no manual work, and that would provide fast results from all of the different systems that they were managing. Now, after doing a lot of market research, they realized there was no such thing. And this was a great opportunity that was presented to them. Thankfully, they took advantage of it and created Octopi. Now, although it sounds ambitious, this is exactly the challenges that Octopi was made to address. And as a result today, Octopi is running in many different organizations around the world. So in this slide, you can see a cross-section of our clients. This is a sampling of some of our clients today. We have hundreds of customers, thousands of users, and some of them, I can, as you can see here, I'm sure you might recognize. Now, I wanted to slide this. Uh, I wanted to share this slide with you for a couple of reasons. First and foremost is to show you the exponential growth that we've experienced in the last few years, which is simply due to the fact that our product delivers. And second, you can see that Octopi works in just about every vertical or company size. And this is because the only two criteria that Octopi requires is that you use it, or the only criteria is that you use the technology that we support. So now when coming to Octopi, just about all of our customers are, are facing or mentioning facing the similar same following similar challenges. And I'll talk about those in just a few minutes. Now, how do we do what we do? So everything sounds great. Now, uh, with Octopi, all of that metadata that's so crucial for you to understand and so difficult for you to collect is actually collected by us very easily and placed into a cross-platform SaaS solution. We deliver that, we discover that metadata automatically, which is a key point. I want to make sure that everybody remembers. It's done automatically, meaning there are no manual processes. There's no 
documentation required, no prep work, customizations, and we're certainly not sending a bunch of highly paid professional services in there uh, to do it for you. So the metadata, once it's collected by us, is centralized into that one SaaS solution, a platform on the cloud, of course. It then goes through a bunch of different processes, such as being analyzed, then it gets uh, uh, centralized, so first it gets centralized, then it gets analyzed, uh, modeled, parsed, cataloged, indexed, and probably quite a few that I can't even think of right now. But uh, just uh, just imagine it's quite a few. And, and, and then it's ready for your discovery so that you can easily find metadata literally in seconds by clicking the mouse. So Octopi reduces the time that would normally take to do that, as you can all imagine, it could take days, weeks, possibly longer. And then we also uh, we reduce that time into seconds, providing you with the best, most accurate picture of your metadata. And so not only is Octopi essential in that initial setup, collecting, can, uh, cataloging analysis and analysis of your metadata, it's also essential when you move forward, meaning so whenever you need to look for metadata, lineage, for example, may it be today or tomorrow or next week, next month, next year, whenever, you'll always be looking at the most current picture of your metadata at that given point in time. So it won't be some spreadsheet that was uh, created, of course, with all good intentions, uh, but unfortunately never up uh, updated uh, a couple of years ago, for example, with Octopi will always be the most current picture of your metadata at that given point in time when you log in. So I'm gonna share this slide for you because this will give you a good idea of some of the use cases that Octopi is essential for. This is what we would call a typical example of a BI infrastructure. It's very common amongst our customers, and I'm sure it's very common amongst those listeners and those here present in this presentation. Now, on the left-hand side, what we can see here, those are the, uh, the example of the many different business applications that are being used by the various organizations. And also the data, uh, those use, actually those, um, uh, those uh, business applications are being used uh, by the various users. Those users are entering data in large quantity into those systems. Now, they don't have direct access to that data. Now, it's usually the BI team or the data, data management team, whatever it's called, might be called slightly different in your organization, but in, essentially it's the BI team that's responsible for making that data available to that, those users. And so that's why at any given point in time, the team needs to know where the data is and then understand its movement process through the various systems that we see here. So you need to know the intricacies, the, the dependencies and so on as well. Now, because the metadata is actually scattered throughout all of these different systems, that's actually very challenging to do. And so what our customers are telling us is that their groups, those are responsible for managing and moving the data, are actually spending more than 50% of their time just trying to understand where the metadata is in order to understand relationships, the connections, and the data lineage. And of course, of course we all know that is uh, necessary in order for them to be able to provide the organization with the data that it uh, so desperately needs. So now what we've done in order to overcome these challenges, we've actually leveraged technology with some very powerful algorithms that we've internally developed the machine learning and the processing power that we have available to us on the cloud to create a solution that actually extracts that metadata, centralizes it into one platform, analyzes it, and then makes it visually available to you from those various systems. We're able to do it very simply. We extract that metadata from the different tools. That metadata then is uploaded to the cloud for analysis. And then within 24 hours, you get an in-depth picture of the entire landscape. And it's that simple. And so what that means, no major projects, no major timelines, no major resources. Really, all you need is one person and about a, an hour or two to configure, and you're good to go. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of uh, some use cases uh, of our customers and why they, and how they came to Octopi and how we address them. So first one I'm going to talk about is a, uh, a large European bank, uh, and, uh, bank and asset management conglomerate. You may have heard of them, Bank of Men uh, Menuladum. So uh, many and a lot of them approached us uh, with a database that had no design and they had uh, daily issues with it. They needed, uh, they also needed their reports to be trustworthy, of course, for obvious reasons. And in order to do that, they needed to see where the data was coming from, because I can't state this enough. If you don't know where the data is coming from, you can't be certain about that data in that report. And so this was part of their daily uh, routine. And since uh, they have many data sources uh, being ingested as well. So they wanted a platform that would help them assess the quality of the data build their and build their metric. In addition, they needed our help with a migration project to the cloud and needed to redesign their procedures. So now after impl implementing the Octopi platform, their entire team relies on Octopi to address these uh, processes. 
Another use case, uh, this one you might be more familiar with, uh, Farm Credit Services of America is a financial cooperative with over 72 associations um, together with that cooperative as part of the cooperative. So FCSA came to us with a challenge they were facing. They had a vendor-driven upgrade that forced them to upgrade their legacy database. And uh, this was a recurring project that recur uh, required huge amounts of manual work. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the issue. So in more detail, the project required mass scale communications to the users and consumers to try to understand the impact any changes were being that were being made. So the users were confused and they were unsure of the impact if where the data elements were being used, uh, which also drove more research and legwork to find the rightful uh, consumers. They needed to invest time in manual research, which, con which was conducted uh, within internal databases, investigating table references, stored procedures, SSRS reports, and so on to determine usage and or ownership. Now, there was a lot of hunting, pecking, spreadsheets were involved, running down owners and packages and data and so on. And these discovery uh, um, efforts uh, spanned approximately four months or more and still left unanswered questions lingering in some areas. Lots of keep decisions were made in case, just in case, and that created a lot of technical debt that they were actually trying to get rid of. All right, so let's talk about now after Octopi. So we offered them, of course, a streamlined research approach to trace usage and ownership. Using the discovery model, analysts, some new to the association, easily went from field to endpoints to quickly understand the usage and take next steps to determine uh, deprecation and impact. Now, the lineage model offered greater insight into where changes uh, can cause con uh, consuming impacts, streamlined efforts to easily seek comments and code, et cetera, and determine potential ownership of stored procedures and load processes. So Octopi re reduced uh, or researched, uh, uh, reduced the research time and allowed for greater focus on the impact and solutions to redirect and to minimize and eliminate how to re uh, redirect and a solution also to minimize and eliminate uh, conversion gaps in the project itself. All right, here's another one that might be interesting to you guys. Uh, Mauer, it's actually spelled Mauer, but pronounced more Investment Management Limited. They are a, a privately owned independent international investment firm, and they manage approximately 82 billion in assets uh, for individual and investors. So more needed to understand the data in the reports, documents, and existing reports and develop new ones as well. And they order, also needed to design these processes. They needed to, in order to design these processes, they needed to invest a great amount of work to ensure that their data was not impaired. So by using Octopi, they cut the time they, down in, that they needed in order to accomplish this by literally in half. All right, so in summary, what we've quickly gone over here uh, today is uh, what our customers are telling us makes us a unique and uh, a unique platform. So we combine three main benefits into one powerful solution. Number one, as you see here on the top, is that we are a cloud-based solution. So very simple and easy to get up and running, very simple and easy to set up, literally, as I mentioned, an hour or two by one person, and you're good to go. Cross-platform, what does that mean? We analyze the metadata across all of your different BI systems from source to target and provide you with that lineage and discovery capabilities. And uh, when you uh, you will see, uh, when, you, uh, uh, when you come visit us for a demo, you will see that Octopi is a very simple and easy to use, very intuitive. And what that means is that they're very simple to onboard. Uh, your team can be up and running with Octopi literally in about a half an hour kickoff session. No longer is that they're that one guru that uh, needs to be appeased uh, for, uh, you know, with pizza or beer in order to get up to the top of the line or to get anything done. Your entire team, the entire organization that can gain value by using Octopi can log in and go ahead and get what they need uh, literally in seconds. All right, so now it gives me great pleasure to announce that Octopi introduces the Data, La uh, Data Lineage XD, the first solution on the market to provide advanced multi-dimension views of Data Lineage. And so you guys are all asking, what does Data Lineage XD mean? And I will explain it to you. So let me explain. So one type of lineage just doesn't cut it anymore. There are three types of lineage that you need. Number one, cross-system lineage provides end-to-end -end lineage at the system level from the entry point into the BI landscape all the way to reporting and analytics. This level provides high-level visibility into the data flow mapping where data is coming from and where it's going. Second, the inner system lineage details the column level lineage within an ETL process, a report, or database object. 
Understanding the logic and data flow for each column provides visibility at the column level. So no matter how complex the process is, the report or object, you can understand it. So in 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 end to end number three is end to end column lineage, which details column to column level lineage between systems from their entry point into the BI landscapes all the way through to the reporting and analytics. All right. So if we've piqued your interest, please reach out to me, and we would be happy to introduce you to the next level in data lineage. And here you have my contact information. At this point, what I will do is uh, allow time for some questions. So if you have any questions, I'm going to take a look at them and see here. Let's take a see. Let's take a see. We'll take a look and see what we have. All right. So do we have uh, APIs to integrate custom metadata from homegrown systems that do not have the data database, et cetera? So there are two answers to that question. Number one, we have APIs that you can extract metadata from. So it's the opposite of what you're asking for. However, if there are systems that we do not support, we do have manual links that you can actually configure one time and that should be able to address that. All right, it seems like uh, yeah, oh, the other question, how long does it take to configure Octopi and to set up? So we've covered that uh, briefly in the uh, presentation. It is uh, telling us, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I mentioned that it takes literally about one hour or two for one person to configure. All you're doing is your own Octopi, pointing the Octopi thin client to your metadata sources, hit the run button, and that's all that's required. That's basically it. Any other questions? Sure, we have a, a user asking us how easy is it to use Octopi or to get started using Octopi. It's very similar to that. Literally, uh, as I mentioned earlier, to get set up and running will take one person about an hour work. That metadata is uploaded to the cloud for analysis. Within 24 to 48 hours, you have a complete clarity into your entire landscape. Thank you very much, everyone. We hope to uh, see you in our booth, our virtual booth, and we hope to be able to uh, schedule some calls with you to introduce you to that next level of, of line data lineage. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, do you have a Looker integration? And if not, it is on your roadmap. So currently we do not have it, but it is on our roadmap for this year. Sure, so the data, um, uh, explain the data lineage, um, uh, a use case would be helpful. So. Let's try and explain that a little bit more. All right, so we have a few more minutes, so I will try to answer that question. Let's say, for example, today, um, someone, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. CFO gives you a call and says um, that uh, there is an issue with a report. It is, for example, the end of the quarter. That report has an error in a, in a field or there is uh, something wrong with that field. It doesn't really matter what the issue is. You need to trace back how the data landed on it. So you need to understand the lineage of that report. And most organizations to do that today probably requires a lot of manual work, which will involve reverse engineering that report manually to try to understand how the data landed on it. With Octopi, you can log in, type the name of the report. Literally within seconds, you can understand the entire end source to target lineage of that uh, report either from the system level, as we said earlier, from the three different levels, uh, from the inter or from the actual column to column level as well. Hopefully that answers your questions. What data sources can you use the data linear tool for specifically looking for AWS sources? So if you log into our website, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can share that screen. I think I can. Currently today, these are the technologies that we support. In general, this is what we would call the BI landscape. You have may have many different hundreds, if not thousands of different source applications. Those are still, we can still provide you with a source to target lineage without going into those different systems to extract or analyze the metadata. The way we do it is as soon as that metadata is extracted into one of the supported systems, we can then extract the metadata that we required in order to provide you with that end-to-end uh, -end data lineage. All right, so we have a question. How do I visit your booth to discuss this? That's a great question. I'm very new to this uh, platform, but I understand that you can log in and you should be able to find us. I don't know, unfortunately, how to answer that question to you. I hope that maybe John or Louise will be able to answer that uh, via uh, chat. 
other important uh, uh, questions here, you know, how other use cases where Octopi would be uh, um, essential for, of course, Octopi would be essential in many, many different use cases. Let's say you have a migration project, you need to move to the cloud. Of course, you need to understand uh, your current assets, where they are and how the changes will impact uh, any change will be uh, impacting uh, reports and so on. So Octopi will be able to give you that transparency and that, line that uh, lineage and discovery capability to be able to see and do that. Of course, I can demonstrate that much more easier in a demo, and I'd invite you to join to see that. There are, of course, many, many other use cases um, uh, providing uh, audit trails uh, for different uh, rules and regulations, uh, um, impact analysis where you need to make a change. You want to know what will be impacted. Of course, there are many, many dozens of different uh, use cases that, uh, that uh, would be relevant for. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, once again, for joining. Uh, I will be logging off shortly, but I will be available in our booth. So if you'd like to chat with me, we'd be happy uh, to take this further. And of course, we'd like to invite you to, um, to sign up for a demo where we can show you this live um, in a demo environment. All right, thank you so much, David. Uh, let's thank David for this great presentation and thanks to our attendees for tuning in. Please complete your conference session survey on the page for this session. The next session will start in about 30 minutes. Uh, so please feel free to go ahead and network. Um, and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks again. Thank you, everyone.